Tottenham do hold the top four spot at the moment. Newcastle are just two points behind them, but they've played two games less than them as well. And it feels as though, and it's understandable, that everybody keeps flip-flopping on who is going to take that top four spot. People pretty much have it that, obviously, Arsenal, City and Manchester United are going to take three of the top four spots. So who is that fourth spot for this week for you? Because I don't even mind that people are changing their mind on a weekly basis, Janish. Because um, no, what, no, what, what, what's you know, convincing for us every week from either for any side chasing for it, you know? I'm, I'm with Newcastle. Everything that we just said about Spurs, a lack of stability, a manager that's not happy and, and you know, airing the, you know, the dirty laundry uh, in front of us. Uh, Newcastle had a soft spell for a while now, but was it Friday? I've been traveling, so sorry, I can't remember when the game was. Uh, big comeback for Newcastle as well. Uh, very good defensively still. I the, best, the, the best defense in, in the league. And that, to me, as a former defender, is very, very important. Uh, you know, he, I look at somebody like Alexander Izak. I mean, he's growing in front of our eyes. We all thought that he was capable. We remember him from La Liga. I certainly remember him uh, uh, covering Poland in uh, World Cup co uh, qualifiers. Uh uh, and, 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 you know, really having to look at him very, very closely. Uh, but he's at his best right now. I mean, obviously, uh, injury-ridden season for him, but uh, at his best. I mean, my goodness, did he look the part the other day. So uh, I'm sticking with, uh, with uh, Newcastle. So, uh, yes, first, I don't like anything that's happening there. And Newcastle, to me, have all the ingredients uh, to finish top four. And you're counting out the likes of Liverpool and Brighton then? Yeah, I mean, Brighton, that story's got to... I mean, if it happens, great. Because as I mentioned, uh, romantically speaking, that, that would have been a uh, nice story. Liverpool, yeah, too much up and down. Still not not enough. I think they, they kissed the season uh, away after that uh, Manchester United game. I don't want to mention that game against... Who was it against? Uh, Bournemouth uh, or some, something like that. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's just summarise what we've seen today. You can't say that Arsenal are going to win the title, but you can say that you want them to. I do. Until, right, so you want them until to next week, Kate. Eh? Uh, look at you, Yanish. Do you mind changes like the wind? But at the moment, you want them to. But you want them to because of what we've been seeing with the way they're playing and everything, right? They are the I best team in the league right now. They're top of the table. They answer all the critics uh, every week. So uh, fair play to them. I, 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 I do actually think they're going to win it. But shh. <laughs> oh gosh! And just to put a point on it, then I mean, there's still time. You don't think Antonio Conte should continue at Spurs, even though they're in the top four spot and the season is on its way out? Do I have to conf confirm this again? Yes, yes. yes. I I've soured on Antonio Conte, and uh, for me, that's a big statement. No, oh, there you go. Someone's coming looking for you for all your takes today, Yanish. I can hear that siren in the background. Uh, but thanks so much for being with us. We know you're traveling. Thanks, it's always great to be with you on PL Express. We'll see you guys very soon. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.